Hey everybody, I got a new project for you today. So this, I'm not sure if this has been done before, but I am making a memory treasure book. So my partner for Facebook, I've known for a while now, so maybe about two years. So I know some of the things she likes. So this is gonna be my first page. So she likes llamas and purple. So I found this cool coloring page. Um, I found it online, so I found the image, and all I did was go um, left, right click, copy, then I opened Word program, pasted, and I resized it to below six and by six, so it would, that it would fit a six by six piece of paper. So I did this, and I got these binder rings. These are um, small. I was using extra small, but it was just too tight. So that is the cover page that I attach a purple ribbon and that is the inside cover. So I just taped it to the paper with regular tape. Then I put my music notes on then I just edged the paper in. So it's in there pretty secure. So that is the cover. Then I got some lined paper, another coloring page, and then some pattern paper because she likes llamas and she likes um, patterned scrapbook paper. Then I made some um, layered flowers. And so I made like a treasure pocket. So this sleeve is just a four by six um, uh, picture sleeve. I just took apart a photo album. So I got those. Nice pink flowers. And then I got made some envelopes. I struggled with the envelopes. I have no idea, but I had trouble with the envelopes. But I made her um, six envelopes. All different pattern mini envelopes. And then it will be another um, piece of cardstock. Then it's another coloring page, line paper, then another coloring page. You can do this any order you want. Then I made a pocket using the star paper, which is already in through the book. And then because I used music notes on the um, back on the covers, I made music note um, envelopes and I always use and I use music note tapes on tape. So it, right there, so it all kind of flows together. And I put unicorns in here because who doesn't love unicorns? So I got two envelopes and a music paper and a pocket. Um, the pocket was really easy. I just um, put some glue here, here, and here. Put the other piece of paper on the top. Um, and then edged it with tape. So make sure you don't put any glue in the center. And that gives you your pocket. So I made two music note envelopes. So I got those are the next pages there. Also, she loves Christmas. Who doesn't love Christmas? But um, so I, I included some Christmas tags and some more mini envelopes. I did a lot because I need to practice. And I just put die cuts down there. So she just can be memories. So she can put any little trinkets in there that she wants. And I just glued on some flowers. I have a whole bunch of this washi tape, so I use that to seal the envelopes, seal the tops. So it's going to be these two pages, then we're going to go to line pages. So she can write her little stories or her adventures in here. Then I have another coloring page. I thought this was a pretty cool one of a llama. And then I thought, oh, I have one more music sheet left, so I did another um, page of, of music seat, sheets just to tie it in. Then the next ones are more flowers. So this is purple and yellow layered flowers. And then a Christmas ornament, a blue snowflake. And then we're going to go with line pages again. So that she can have, um, she can write all through the book. Now we have another coloring page. 
more unicorns. So there's unicorns throughout. And then more line pages. There's about four sheets here of paper, I think, per section. So I found this really cool llama sticker. So I'm going to cool, find, put that in there. And then I got another color, coloring page for la 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 llama. And then I got a star page. I made her some Christmas tags. So I just found these tags online and I just printed them off and colored them and attached them to a cardstock and put some red ribbon on there. Then we're going to have a piece of cardstock page. Because so I left some these blank because then she can decorate them however she wants to. And then um, another coloring page and lined paper. Yeah, so she can add her own touches in here. I had two different llama stamps, so I made the made some stamp images for her. So I think there's like three of each, four of each, so that was a pretty cool. Then I got my star paper, and I got another pocket here. Now this one is empty. So this is how my tickets turned out. So I decorated five of them. Um, the glue is still drying, so once they're dry, I will put them in this pocket with some blank ones that I made for her. And so yeah, so once they're dry, I will show you the next set of pages. My tickets are all dry, and I put them in the pocket, and I sealed it with my uh, music tape. So then the next page is coloring page. I like this llama. And then I got have my unicorns. Then there is two more flowers. Then I added um, some die cuts, my favorite die cuts. Then I got my magical page. And then at the end I have this Sugar Plum Fairy Ornament, which I really love. So that is the last page. And there's the back with my ribbon. So yeah, I'm just going to put this over. Like this. And there it is. So now I have to just, I wrote my letter to her, and I just got the envelope, and I have a padded envelope, so that's going to be good, and it's staying in Canada, so. So yeah, that is my memory treasure book. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or whatnot, um, I upgraded the rings to the next size, so these are the small rings, binder rings, and yeah. So yeah, so I'll just have to tie this. I think I'm going to put it in a, like a Ziploc bag and then put it into the mailing envelope. So that is my book and yeah, until next time, later.